we found the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And we're gonna give you a really good close-up look right now. In 1984, Ecto-1 became an instant movie star and almost as famous as the Batmobile. Before he was famous, the 21-foot-long Ecto-1 began life as an extremely rare 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Ambulance. The Miller Meteor production run was limited to only 400 of these vehicles. Less than 100 are known to still exist. Only 24 were turned into Ectomobiles. Only eight of those are in the good old USA. Miller and Meteor had been competing companies. Wayne Corporation made buses. During 1954, they purchased Meteor Motor Car, which built limousines and ambulances. Two years later, Wayne of Indiana, not Gotham, bought A.J. Miller Company, maker of hearses and ambulances. Wayne combined the two former competitors into a well-oiled machine by 1957. Two years later, the 1959 base model for the Ecto-1 rolled out of the Ohio plant with the same tail fins as a 1959 Cadillac Eldorado, the largest tail fins ever on a production car. The power plant was a 6.3 liter V8, good for 320 horsepower. The Ectomobile gives passengers a smooth ride thanks to an air suspension system. Early scripts called for a 1975 Cadillac ambulance. A checker cab was also considered. We are so glad they chose the 59 instead. Ecto-1 was driven around New York City shortly after the movie's release in 1984, with one of the Ghostbusters behind the wheel, in costume. Allegedly, it caused a slew of accidents because other drivers were so taken with the iconic car, they lost control of their own. Originally, Dan Aykroyd had envisioned the Ecto-1 in black. Luckily, a cinematographer pointed out how often the car would be shot at night. I think we all already have a favorite black movie car with Ben. The vehicle designer, Stephen Dane, was hired by director Yvonne Reitman to design and oversee the development of Ecto-1 from scratch. He also designed the proton pack, particle thrower, trap, gigameter, slime scooper, and slime blower, all within two weeks of the start of shooting. His name was misspelled Stephen Dane, S-T-E-V-E-N. It is correctly spelled with a P-H. It was misspelled in the credits, and he's listed only as a hardware consultant. Please share this video so you can help Stephen Dane receive full credit. The Ecto-1 died dramatically on the Brooklyn Bridge while shooting Ghostbusters 2. Scenes from the film that show the car backfiring and billowing smoke were not special effects. Fortunately, a second Miller Meteor Ecto-1A was quickly converted for use in the remainder of the film. Ecto-1 was revived following a huge fan movement. Universal Studios left the original car to rust in a studio backlot, which enraged loyal GB fans. They petitioned and ultimately bought the car. They restored it to near perfect condition. If anyone knows the names of these fans, please comment below to give them some credit. Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, Sigourney Weaver, Rick Moranis, and Ecto-1 all starred in the 1984 Ghostbusters blockbuster movie. You can see most of their autographs in the roof 
the Ecto-1. our videos many of the events shows and people that we feature on our videos support much needed charities bastante de eventos que nosotros filmea soporta caridad please take a child or a friend to one of these events and make sure that they're aware of all the good works that the great people of the car community do por favor lleva un niño o un amigo a los eventos para que sepa de buenos trabajos que hacen los coordinadores de evento. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.